I'm Chloe. I'm 11. I'm from Ohio. And I have HPP. Hi, I'm Heather, her mother. And I'm 39. I live in Ohio. And I have HPP as well. Hi, my journey with HPP. I was born with I have two mutated genes. I also have a twin brother who is no longer with us. He passed away. He was in a wheelchair. I'm able to walk. Um, I do use a cane at times. Um, my feet and my hands are affected the most at, right now at this day and age in my life. Um, at first it was my shoulders. I've had eight surgeries on my shoulders. Um, four on each side. I've had surgery on my hips. I have a rod in my hip. Um, I do walk with a limp due to my HPP. Um, I also have rheumatoid and osteoarthritis because of HPP. Um, I also have a kidney disease and my bones are deteriorating. And Chloe, she has one mutated gene and Chloe, what hurts on you? My, my legs. Chloe, her legs hurt the most for her. And occasionally her arms do. Her teeth are doing pretty well with her only having one mutated gene. But I also think syringe plays a really big role in it because um, she does have good teeth. I don't have, I have big teeth. Um, my teeth were all yellow by when I was the age of four and her teeth are pretty white and she lives a normal life pretty much. Um, we do take six shots. Um, when I was pregnant with Chloe though, um, they did tell me that she wasn't gonna make it, she would die an hour after I would have her. They said her ribcage would cave in and she would, it would mess with her heart and lungs. So they kind of suggest that I shouldn't have her. Um, so I used to get ultrasounds weekly um, because when I was pregnant with her and the last ultrasound um, I did pray before the ultrasound um, that God would give me a sign um, because I didn't know what to do I, I'm against abortion but at, at the same time I had another daughter die when she was two with severe brain damage um, because of me having HPP it was hard having her, so it caused problems. So I didn't know, I did have things going on in my mind when I was pregnant with Chloe. On that last ultrasound, six or eight doctors came in and they say, well, we see changes in her bone mineralization. And that's all I needed to hear. I started crying and, and I'm blessed and I'm, Chloe is healthy as can be overall. You know, she does have her aches and pains, and um, she doesn't have club. They said her hands were going to be clubbed, her feet were going to be clubbed, and she has none of that. She is little for her age. She is 11, so she's the height of maybe a seven year old. Um, but overall, Chloe's very healthy, and I'm so blessed. She's a wonderful baby, and I wanted her for 10 years. And that's our journey with HPP. So our greatest challenges with HPP. Um, I would say mine was more when I was younger. Um, kids can be cruel and make fun of you because you're different. Um, make fun of you. Because um, like I said, I had teeth problems. Um, so, and then I have my forehead. Um, due to me having a plate in my forehead because I had to have surgery, um, kids would make fun of me. So I had to go to counseling a lot over that. And then also some of the challenges was I had my twin brother. I took care of him as well. Um, we lost our mother when we were 12. So I kind of took that mother role and helped him. And, you know, lifting up a wheelchair, putting it in, you know, taking it in the house. Then when we were on our, when we moved out and we were 18, I took care of him. Um, but over time, he, he finally met someone and he got married and had a child himself. And um, that's her, his child's healthy as can be. She does not have HPP. 
So, but my, my main thing was just my self-esteem as well as a child. And as I got older, um, I learned to deal with it before. When I was younger, I couldn't accept it. I, I was upset and about it and how people would talk to me and treat me. So I let it control me, but as I got older, I stopped letting it control me, and I had a more positive attitude. I do have challenges with pain, though, a lot. My hands, my feet, my legs. Um, and sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm 39, and I feel like I'm 70 or 80, but I try not to think like that, and it is difficult to do things, and sometimes it does bother me. But I just try to keep that um, thought in my head, like I'm not going to let it control me. I'm going to control my life, and I'm not going to be depressed with it. But I did deal with depression when I was younger. Chloe, um, is there anything you want to say that you've dealt with along the way? Mm. Chloe, um... She has really good friends, but um, at one of the schools, she was being picked on I, because she was littler. Um, so there was a group of kids that would just pick on her and push her, and one hit her with a computer. Um, but it was something every day. Every day there was something going on, and it was because she was little. I don't think they knew she had HPP because um, you can't, really, you know, she... She walks good. She, you can't tell like um, she doesn't. She doesn't stand out where some of us with HPP might. Like my brother had a, was in a wheelchair, and I walk with a limp. But she is little, and they would pick on her for it and push her and shove her down. And so I ended up changing her to her new school that she's at now, and it was one of the best decisions that I made. Um, she has great friends. Um, she uh, she don't come home saying that someone's picking on her, so I think that is our biggest challenge um, was with HPP was you know just the bullying and people being bullied and um, because kids can say some really mean things. If I could tell anybody with HPP, I would just tell you that. There are times that it is hard to deal with, and then there's times that are fine, and there are people that you can talk to, and um, if you don't have family or friends, there is all you can even call a support group, because there are times you're gonna feel emotional or depressed or even hurting, because I hurt all the time, and sometimes I think. It, it does get depressing, like, why me? Why do I have to feel like this? But just say to yourself, you know what? We're all, every everyone in this world has something wrong with them. No one's perfect. And if you have the right support group, or family, friends, and if you don't, you can, there are people you can call and talk to, and there's chats online communicate with people so that way it'll help you through your journey because you know there there's quite a bit of us now with HPP and we can all communicate with each other and don't let it you know control you um, but yes you will have ups and downs but I, w I wouldn't change who I am and Chloe is there anything you would like to say Mm. Um. Chloe's very shy, by the way, if you can't tell. She was just telling me that if there's kids with HPP, just live, do the things you want to do and don't let anybody bully you. Be positive. Be, be grateful for who you are. And that's what we have to say about HPP and would want to tell you. Just be... Love yourself. And I'm Chloe Stortz. And I'm Heather Stortz. And, and we're asking, asking you to, to join the HPP community, community by donating today. today.